Hey, what's up guys? So we are actually playing Elemental Dragons, but the point of this video is not Elemental Dragons being the best deck. This one is actually a little bit different. Uh, the player I'm playing against, he's actually going to be using the deck that uh, we're going to be actually taking a look at. Although I opened up, well, it's okay. I wish I had one of the bigger Elemental Dragons that would have helped out a lot. But uh, we'll go ahead and <laughs> go through a heavy. Uh, I mean, I can get out, you know, something, but uh, we'll just end it off. Um, I mean, you'll see that in the title. I was going to say, I, I can surprise you guys with the uh, title of it, but he's actually playing a uh, Acid Golem like lockdown deck. Basically, his goal is to give me Acid Golem. So he's going to be the star player here because, uh, yeah, Elemental Dragons are obviously a really strong deck and a um, very dirty deck to uh, play against. And uh, if he can get out Acid Golem and give it to me, though, we'll see how, uh, you know, how well it does. Because, I mean, I still have my normal summons. He's going to attack me for that 600 points of damage. Yeah, it is 600. Spell Striker. You can actually reinforce my of the army for him. I like how he's, he's a Spell Striker, but he's using like a wand. You think he's a Spell Caster, right? But, um, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, everything rolling. Um, so first off, to start off, we'll, we'll make sure there's, there's nothing. Because <laughs> uh, we're going in this turn. Mask of Restrict. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I even he wanted me to play Elven Dragons, by the way, because, you know, we're testing out uh, his deck more so. So we'll manage that, we get to add, and then we will get Cyclone's Effect, and we can add any dragon to our hand. And, um, let's go for another one of him. So I can, you know, dump him in the grave with this card's effect. So we'll activate this card's effect. Then we will send, what should we send? We'll send this to the grave, because the card's not going to be useful right now. And then we'll just summon this. And then, uh, I mean, I might as well go for... I want to know what his face down is first, though. Um, before I decide what I actually want to go for. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... Um, yeah, why not? We'll just activate this. I mean, I definitely have the Draco Sack play, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, he's playing something that can't be destroyed by battle. Maybe not, though. So, we will special summon... Let's we'll go for a Draco Sack. I love this card too much. So, even though, um, normally I wouldn't know what deck he's playing, but, uh, for the sake of the video, since he, he already knows what I'm playing, I'm going to play as hard as possible to, um, counter his deck. And I know his deck's probably gonna use Creature Solve or something. This way I can give him a token, and, um, when that Acid Golem is out, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, honestly. Um, there originally was Mask of Restrict, but now I can, um, I can tribute it. Konami, you're fired. <laughs> Here comes the layoffs. But, uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I can't risk, uh, the face down being something that can't be destroyed by battle. And then, uh, I go going for Lad won't help at all. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I gotta know what the face down is before. Oh, it's a Spirit Reaper. See? <laughs> Aren't you guys glad I went for that? And, uh, you know, it was level 3 that can't be destroyed by battle. And, um... Now, I can't activate his effect to pop Spirit Reaper. So, I'll just end it off right there. I don't feel like uh, banishing any of my E-Dragons. Because I would definitely love to banish some of the ones that can have effects. <laughs> That's always better. But, uh, like I said, since he's no, he knows what deck I'm playing, I'm going to probably give him the token. Acid Golem will still kind of hurt, but the way I look at it is Draco Sack is still a card. His deck, I'm not sure if it's considered to be like a deck that counters Elemental Dragons, like uh, something like Evil Storms would do, but, I mean... Giving anyone a Acid Golem really hurts um, if they special summon. So he's going to bounce one of them back. I'm not sure what happens if we try to bounce back Spirit Reaper. I'm pretty sure since it's a cost, it goes back anyways. But we'll see. Uh, I mean, he can make a lot of different things now. He can make Terror Bite if he wanted to. I doubt he would, but yeah. Let's see what he makes. Um, maybe If he can give me double Acid Golem, man, uh, I don't even know what I'd do. Yeah, it would be very sad, because I'd be taking lots of life point damage, but, I mean, he's got Mask of Restrict, so I, I assume that, uh, you know, that could technically hurt um, other decks. I mean, uh, Monarchs did recently top, so there might be more players playing Monarchs, and this card kind of hurts Monarchs. Um, but Monarchs usually made extra space, because, like, they have no back row anyways, and they don't like Macro Cosmos. So he's going for the Acid Golem, alright. Let's see what he makes. Because I'm actually curious myself. Oh, I can't special summon tokens! So that will kind of hurt if I, uh, you know, both my tokens go away. 
I guess he's going to just kill one of my tokens. He's gonna kill both of my tokens. Oh, no. He's doing some damage to me. For what reason? I have no idea. <laughs> I personally would have destroyed it. the tokens. In fact, I would have got rid of all the tokens and killed this. But maybe he, he wants me to have a monster so creature swap. Oh, Spell Striker can attack directly. Shoot. I need to get rid of that thing before it kills me. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, I could have main phase 2 lad him, but because there was Spirit Reaper, that's, that's going to leave me with very few options. Swords of Revealing Light. Okay. So, looks like he's uh, looking forward to stall for a while. Oh, and he can keep on attacking directly. I, I don't know if that's his goal. Um, just like two more Draco sacks, right? Um, now, I can still special summon, because he controls Acid Golem, so um, not that big of a deal. But uh, I don't want to get out Lad yet. <laughs> more tokens. Even though I totally don't need them. <laughs> All the tokens. I want to get as many tokens as I can right now. <laughs> just so I can have them. And then I'll probably pop the Reaper and then run over the Spell Striker. I will attribute this, and let's get... Oh, I need to get rid of swords, otherwise I can't attack, right? <laughs> that is a thing. Um, I just want to get rid of this. I don't want that attacking directly, like, all the time. That's going to get kind of annoying. Um, I want... Maybe he'll just kill this, so that way I can just, like, search for stuff. And then the off chance that I need to pop something, and then I can still... I think I play rank 4s in here, let me check. Uh, it's been so long since I actually like bothered modifying my E-Dragons up. So let's see what he does. His goal is going to be to uh, keep on detaching, and then he's going to creature swap it and give it to me. But I put myself in a position where I feel like I can just I contribute it, so... Unless he has another mask of restrict, then it's going to hurt a lot. Just for that, I'm going to strangle you with your own bosoms. What? Well, whatever that means, I'm tempted to see this. Because I, I actually want his deck to win, because he, his deck is definitely something non-meta, I would assume so. I wanted to make an Acid Golem deck and make it competitive. I tried. I have videos of it up. Uh, I'll find the link to the video where I, I played Acid Golem Burn <laughs> and I beat someone. It was more like wind up, but all I would do is I'd just greet her swap. So it looks like he's just he's just dealing some damage. That's fine with me. I'll take uh, 400. Um, I still don't understand why he's not destroying the tokens. I would get rid of the tokens. Because, like, once he gives it to me, I won't have anything. Um, so I guess he's just looking forward to, you know, just dealing some damage. Uh, 3,000 attacker. I just, I just don't have an answer to it. Uh, I, I really honestly don't care about swords too much. Maybe I should just get rid of this. <laughs> the thing is, you can Monster Reborn Acid Golem, or, uh, like, do, you can call the Haunted it. That also is an option. Um. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to drop a lad because I don't want to deal with... Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Do I play, like, Photon, Papilla Operative? Any of those? Uh, this does not get rid of um, Spirit Reaper, by the way, guys, because it's face down. Okay, so I don't play a lot of the rank 4s that I would normally play. Oh, I remember you like a roach, right? Um, yeah, I think I think we're good. Um, I don't feel like, like doing... I don't realistically feel like doing anything. I just feel like just chilling here. Um, with my two cards, I can still pop. Maybe I should make another Draco sack. And I'll, although this is kind of in the way. So yes, okay. Let's see your play. I want to see it. Monster Reborn. So he's going to Monster Reborn the um, the Acid Golem. And he's probably going to give it to me. I mean, yeah, I could have dropped Lad last turn, but I still wouldn't be able to do anything. So he's going to select... Okay, so he's going to destroy that. Although it won't get destroyed because I have the token. Uh, okay, so he'll have it like once, I guess if you want to call it once. Uh, he realistically should have got rid of the... Oh! What, does it send it to the grave? Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I could still just go for Find Darkest Dragon. So I'm going to take four... Oh, no, 3,000 points of damage right now, which is fine. I mean, he's exhausted a lot of cards, but at least his deck got two at work. I, I like that, though. And, I mean, I, want, I do want him to win, but I, I'm going to still... I'll still semi try hard. <laughs> um, so I can't special summon, and I'll be taking you know, an extra thousand points of damage. Um, all right, the E Dragon is seven. I was like, wait, wait, do I have that like that other card that's level a uh, rank eight, I should say? So we're just going to normal summon. I really don't want a normal summon lad though. 
Um, trying to think what else I can do with Ravine. I mean, it's gonna like slow down the, the game so hard, but I have to do it. Otherwise, I'd lose next turn. And like I said, I'll even though I want him to win, I, you know, I do want to, uh, you know, uh, make the game as interesting as I can. Um, so I mean, I still have another lad, so. Even if he gives me another acid golem, I mean, he got really lucky there. He had, he had a, uh, what was it? He had a reborn, and he already had an uh, acid golem in graveyard and a lava golem, so he had a pretty dirty setup. Plus, he had the the card that this is like kind of like a creature swap, uh, except for oh, he's gonna go for a grand mall. Okay, I, I don't know if that's the best idea. To my knowledge, that's not gonna be the best idea for him. So that just allows me to, unless he's gonna attack the token, then by all means that's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the best idea for him. <laughs> Cause uh, I mean he's used a lot of cards in hand and Elena Dragons never lose advantage. Oh he's gonna exceed. Another acid golem, it's fine, I have another lad to sack it for. Oh shoot, he's just going to attack me? Oh no. What will I ever do? Because <laughs> I can just, like, I can take it. Or I can just drink. I'll probably end up Draco sacking popping it. <laughs> so uh, that effect activates, and I get any monster. I'll probably just go for. That doesn't really matter. I just need any element of dragon. What, that's what it comes down to. And then he's going to creature swap me or something? What? Don't creature. Okay, he doesn't have a creature swap. So like, it just goes back to my hand, anyways. I mean. I can still just summon. Alright, Gold Sark, okay. I mean, I might as well get free cards, right? So, um... Let's banish, uh, the Eclipse Wyvern that was in the graveyard, so I'll get a free card, and then this, so I get a free effect. And then I can Gold Sark and get another free effect. So I've only used Tidal's effect this turn, oh, as well as uh, Tempest. So now we're going to go for uh, Calderas. <laughs> I thought it was Calderas. Oh, Elemental Dragon of Calderas. And then we get free cards. Free cards are always good. Uh, this one. Because I already have another baby one. I think, can you only use the... Uh, yeah, you can only use the effect of like the baby ones once per turn as well. So we will discard. Doesn't really matter. I mean, like they get special from the grave and everywhere, and it's just like, oh, it's so problematic. <laughs> I should go for big eye and steal it, right? I need to put three Draco sack in here. Draco sack is like my card. I love that card too much. <laughs> I better put it in defense mode, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna take that 600 that he's been doing like every turn. Wait, if you spare my life, I'll give you a, a planet. Really? Actually, I might be able to OTK him. Oh well. Three planets. His deck was supposed to be Ben, but you can see that, like, technically, um, if I was not playing the lad build, I mean, I could still tribute my regular dragons. I mean, I could just stack for regular uh, elemental dragons and still do it, so. Like I said, um, I'm not sure how viable it is, realistically. Um. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, he needs to have Mask of Restrict, plus... Okay, so the combo will require them to have uh, Mask of Restrict, Acid Golem, and then be able to swap the Acid Golem. That's really what it counts, uh, comes down to. He had it, but um, it, it's, I think it's going to be just a little bit too late, because I'm just going to go... In right now, I mean, might as well. Uh, so we'll banish. Uh, I don't remember what we had, so we're just gonna banish these ones. And then I think we we haven't used the water water ones effect, so yeah, we'll have to use the water one. And then we'll get rid of uh, light and dark dragon. I really don't need that many. Mike Hagler? I, I don't even know what that is. But um. Right, should we we we, we we special summon this one by its own effect. So this one can attack, but the, this one can't. 
But, uh, let's see. If I go for a big guy, let me do some math here because I'm alpha math, so I need, I, need, I need the help of a calculator. So I can potentially deal, um, 26 plus 3,000. And that's not going to quite be enough, so. Oh, I actually don't want to go for big guy. Well, I mean, I could go for big guy and not take it. That is definitely an option. And I think I'm going to go with that option. Because this way, if you guys wonder why why make big big eye, um, I can still attack with big eye. I mean, I'm not using big eye's effect. I'm using uh, Draco Sax effect. So, and I mean, yeah, I could take it, but it doesn't make it game. And I'm taking it because I know I'm pretty sure he's going to uh, play uh, Mark Marshmallow or like some of those cards, and I don't really want to deal with those. <laughs> he says, "If this is going on, do," and I just said yes. I just answered his question immediately. Because he wanted to show. Well, I mean. M yeah, he almost had us, though. But, like I said, guys, I was hoping he would win because, you know, that's Elemental Dragons. And we got to figure out how to beat the deck. Uh, honestly, uh, Evil Swarms are a pretty good matchup. Um, for uh, Evil Swarms, obviously. I think they have the favorable matchup, but it, again, it depends who goes first, because if I go first on Drago Sack Lad, good luck playing some Evil Swarms. <laughs> like, it's just, there's too many minuses that Lad makes you go, oh, he's going for, well, that's not a bad option. Although, I don't think he'll last that long. I could probably finish off the game. <laughs> What's the Galton doing? No, my token! Is he really gonna kill my token? I, I mean, it's another card that's kind of in the way, but I don't really care. <laughs> um... Maybe if I have one of those baby Elemental Dragons, I can I, I can take it and exceed with it. But, I mean, he's not going to get that for another turn. It's going to be too slow for him. Do, do I get that other card? <laughs> so, um, at this point... I don't know what we've even activated. Let's draw more cards. We don't have enough cards. Or, like, advantage at all at this game. Alright, I got another Dragon's Review. That's what I'm looking forward to. If you guys are wondering why I played this, it's because I'm playing, like, the Turbo Lad build. So, let's see what we have. Uh, we're out of these ones, I think, anyways, so. Alright, graveyard, and... I think we could just run them over for game. Let's see. Oh, it's not some more type. One of them has 26, right? Okay. Just gonna banish all the little ones. Oh, that one's in my hand. Okay, we'll just banish Lad, because I could carry about that. And uh, these ones can attack because they're not supposed to mother by, by the babies ones. Oh wait, wait, can I get more? Oh, I ran out of Caldera. Says all right. So now that I'm off at math, um, 26, 28, 26, 26. That's 10,000. Okay, so we can deal 9,200 damage total. So I'm sorry, Flame Lord. Your deck was cool. I like the idea. I did make I did make one of these decks too, but uh, unfortunately, it just it just doesn't have the good matchup against all multiple dragons. But it was a valiant effort, sir. And you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, guys, I, I actually wanted him to win because my deck is obviously way higher tier. And he wanted to play against it. And this is probably not the best build of Elemental Dragons. I, I think this deck can be, like, way dirtier. Uh, I, I just do, I just love the lad build because, like, I feel like going first and Elemental Dragons, you just win. Because <laughs> that, that's going to be the deck to look forward to next format as far as, like, the meta, like, the hardest deck to play. Uh, well, I mean... Not to play. The deck's pretty easy to play, but the hardest deck to like play up against. And if you go first and you lad the el other Elemental Dragon player, it, he usually ends up losing. Like you, you can't do anything unless you set Spirit Reaper, like he did, and that's kind of set me back. It kind of made me not want to drop lad. But then I ended up dropping lad over um, going for what was it? I could have attributed probably for another E Dragon, but I was like, no, I want to go for the lad just in case he had other shenanigans. But you can see definitely um, if he had Mask of Restrict. I would have straight up lost because I couldn't tribute it for it, and I would have been stuck with a lava golem and a acid golem. And once three thousand, and I'm sorry, one deals uh, two thousand, one deals one thousand, so that's a total of three thousand. So if he had that master restrict, if I didn't have that, uh, what was it? I don't think I, I was MSC in the I think I had a heavy in the beginning. If I didn't heavy that, I probably would have lost. But uh, technically, this card is kind of the go-to card. So it looks like Animal Dragons still reign victory over uh, Acid Golem Burn, but. Like I said, it was a cool deck, and I do I do wish he 
uh, his deck was uh, more successful. But yeah, it definitely can be successful. Uh, like you guys can see, uh, all you needed was Mask of Restrict. It's kind of combo oriented. But anyways, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes, signing out.